Hi, my name is Sergeant Chris Sipkowski with Lord Strathcona's Horse Royal Canadians Mounted Troop. Today we're at the stables discussing the Mounted Troop's history and its origins. The troop was originally founded in 1923 as a ceremonial Mounted Troop to compete in both uh, mounted cavalry skills as well as to put on displays for the public with musical ride and tent pegging demonstrations. Uh, the royalty connection is the Prince of Wales is actually our Colonel in Chief of our regiment and he has been for a nu numerous amount of years. Uh, we keep that connection because we are a part of the British Commonwealth and when we started off in the Boer War in 1900, uh, we were founded by a Lord, Lord Alexander Smith, uh, also known as Lord Strathcona and Mount Royal. And he had strong ties to the royal family in, in uh, England. And therefore, we try to keep those ties and perpetuate it just like the British Army would today. The troop today is pretty much the same as it was in 1923. We still compete with uh, tent pegging demonstrations as part of our show, as well as a ceremonial mounted uh, show musical ride. As well, we will do escorts and vedettes. A vedette is just a, a soldier on display outside of, for example, a parliament house, uh, standing at attention for people to see us. We've escorted anywhere from lieutenant governors to the Prime Minister of Canada. Bearing in mind My name is Master Corporal Paul Krulak and I am the Troop Sergeant here at the Strathcona Mounted Troop and today essentially what you're going to see is a ride practice with the new uh, horses and riders that we are training here at the Troop. Essentially my job is to train and maintain not only the new horses that come to the Troop but the riders as well and to organize and produce a musical ride that's entertaining and uh, superior, superiorly effective during the summer ride season. Training down here is so important uh, because it gets the rider accustomed to the proper rider position with the horse so he can effectively put the horse in a vast array of uh, different maneuvers that we perform during the musical ride. And this practice makes perfection, obviously, where we can uh, perform a flawless musical ride during the summer months. I'm Corporal Travis Piskuski. I'm with the Lord Strathcona's Horse Royal Canadians Mounted Troop. Today I'm wearing our ceremonial dress uniform and we're going to be going over a few things about this, the, the history of the Mounted Troop and the ceremonial duties that we do down here at the stables. The troop was originally formed in 1923. It disbanded in 1939, prior to World War II, when the regiment became mechanized. The troop reformed in 1974 with the inauguration of the 100th an anniversary of the city of Calgary. The troop today has 25 regular force members. There's also 20 mounts in the troop and we travel across Western Canada performing the musical ride. We are also in Spruce Meadows and we're the official colour guard. A way to see how the soldiers in the past operated and see how they trained with horses as well. The camaraderie between a horse and a rider gets pretty intense, especially once you get issued your mount. Uh, you get a bond that is stronger than brothers in some cases. Uh, there was an incident where a rider came off years ago and his mount actually stood over top of him to protect him for the other horses. Good day, my name is Corporal Ayrton Balfour. We're currently here at the tax shop located at the Lord Strathcona's Horse Royal Canadian Strathcona Mounted Troop. Tax shop is a location for all of the riders to come and grab the specific tack that is uh, paired up with a specific horse. It's just the staging area and the storing area for all the tack and tack is used for riders to properly keep control of their horse and uh, also to ensure that they can ride the horse efficiently and fluently. The tack that we use here in SMT involves a saddle blanket, a saddle, uh, two types of bat, uh, bridles, the snaffle bit and the military portsmouth bit. We also use girth belts to secure the saddle to the horse's back. It's 
it's important that we maintain our own tack down here in SMT because we have 20 horses that we ride on a routine basis and we want to ensure that the tack is well managed and taken care of to provide the safety of the horse and rider at all times. A lot of the young soldiers come from uh, volunteers from the regiment and a lot of these guys uh, have never been around horses before. So essentially we're taking a new guy that's never been on a horse and uh, train him up with a matter of two to four months and get him to be performing the musical ride. As well, we have new horses that come down to the troop which need to be trained either uh, English uh, refreshing or they come from a Western background where we have to reschool them, retrain them and get them uh, acquainted with the other herd uh, horses so that they could effectively uh, perform the drills that we uh, do on a daily basis. When we perform our musical ride, it takes a lot of hard work, precision, and determination in order to, to pull off all the drills in the, in, the, in the manner that we do. Along with that, it takes great horsemanship and learning how to properly ride an English mount. The musical ride is composed of cavalry drills, the musical ride itself, and then the equestrian sport of tent pegging. What I'm wearing today is exactly what we wear during the musical ride. It is an exact replica of what the Lord Strathcona soldiers wore in the Boer War. When we tent peg at the conclusion of our show, we take a saber or a lance and we run a line. There is a, there is a white peg at, in the middle of the arena and we try and stab it with our lance or saber. Uh, some of the drills you're going to see today, you're going to see some turns across the school. I'm going to get the, uh, the young guys to do some uh, uh, gait changes between walk, trot, canter. A few uh, exercises, uh, uh, last guy to the rear, uh, just practices, the, maintains the seat that the riders maintain and uh, get some practicing different, uh, getting the different gates and speeds of the horse in the different gates and uh, overall practice with the horse. Being in the mounted troop, it's great to just hang out with the guys. Obviously, we get to work with horses, which is always a plus. It's a unique job in the Canadian Forces, and it's something that not every soldier gets to do, and that's one part that I really enjoy. The troop's important to Canada. It's the only mounted troop in Canada that still perpetuates the cavalry history on a full-time basis. Uh, we go out, we put on the ceremonial rides uh, to enlighten people about the forces, give us a window to our day-to-day -day operations, because every soldier in the troop is not only a mounted soldier uh, while he's here, but he's still a part of the combat unit uh, at the regiment, from tank drivers to truck drivers to gunners and commanders. Uh, therefore, uh, when we do the ceremony ride and the public talk to us, not only we talk about the horses, but we give information about tours, past experiences, and our day-to-day -day operations, both with the horses and with our tanks.